With his Pro Minute video series, Dr. Klee will share some of his secrets with you on how to become a better flutist. Hello, my name is Dr. David Klee and welcome to another Pro Minute. Today we're going to talk about head joints. Uh, most beginners, when they buy a flute, the head joint comes with the flute and they're kind of stuck with it. And, and most beginner flutes are made to be like a, a Sherman tank. They're, me they're meant to take quite a beating. The problem with that, there's a compromise on quality as far as the sound, the way the head, head joint is cut, the way it's made and all that. So what happens then when the student is ready for a step up flute, usually during the late junior high years, uh, this is where they have some options. You know, uh, depending upon the body of the flute, uh, if it's a true beginner flute or if the, maybe their parents bought them an intermediate flute as far as the body, and then they just need to go to look at some kind of head joint. And this is where the world is really open to you as far as what kind of head joint. Because the head joint determines the sound of the flute. The head joint can make the flute feel stuffy, it can make it feel open, it can make it sound dark, it can make it sound bright. It can do all of these things. And most of it has to do right here, which is the lip plate and how it's made. And again, uh, once upon a time, you know, you know, 20 years ago, there wasn't a whole lot of variation on the head joints. But nowadays, there's this quite a, there is extremely wide selection of styles. And so, you know, what's going on out there? Well, some things you need to look at when you purchase a head joint, if you're going to buy the head joint separate from the flute. Number one, has the head joint been undercut? And you're thinking, okay, what is undercut? Undercut is when they have physically gone into the, to the blowhole and they have rounded it off. It actually looks rounded on the inside. If you look at a student line flute, usually it's just straight down. When you look down the chimney on the inside of the blow hood, straight down. But if you look at uh, a, a semi or professionally made head joint, you'll see where it's rounded or concave. And what that is, that's called undercutting. And what that does, that makes, uh, opens up a whole new world as far as quality and flexibility. It can give you a bigger sound. It can give you a bigger sound in the low range. It can open up the upper range. It can allow for interval playing, like if you're doing octaves or big flexibility with two or three octave slurs. It makes a major difference on the head joint. And then, so that's really, really important. Another thing is the blowhole itself. The trend has been in the last few years to make kind of a rectangle. That's kind of the, kind of the trend lately. Uh, some of the older flutes you actually would see a novel. Uh, the trend lately over the last few years has been more of a rectangle. Now, the last thing they've been really doing, they've really been doing over the last five or ten years, is the opposite side. This is called the high, the high wave side here. We, this is the blow side. This is where the air comes across. The trend has been to really cut this down flat when they design it. And what that's done is allowed for faster response and uh, um, really more powerful playing in the low range. Again, what's going to happen though, a lot of this is personal taste. So as, as a younger flutist looking maybe to purchase just a, a semi-pro or professional head joint with a flute, what I would suggest you do, if your uh, credit card will allow you to do this, I would actually have them send you as many head joints as you can get different different head joints and what will happen then you'll have a head joint fest you'll sit there and try different head joints preferably with your private teacher or last with your band director but you sit there and play and experiment because you need to really spend some time with each head it'll probably take you a few minutes just to get accustomed to it the style and uh, the last thing about head joints that is unique is there's something called a chimney. The chimney is what connects the mouth plate to the tube. It's actually a little cylinder that holds the mouth plate to the tube. And, you know, if you look at it from in here, it's probably, I don't know, a quarter inch, three eighths of an inch long. Well, that can vary depending upon the model. 
I actually had a white gold flute at one time made by Armstrong, and my flute teacher had one too, Warren Little, the Atlanta Symphony, he had one. And they actually had it where the, the chimney was real high, it was called a high chimney. And it really worked well for him. It never worked well for me. Because of my overbite, I had a really hard time adjusting the armature where I could get out my low range. So because of that, I eventually traded it in. Back during the those days, you couldn't just get another head joint. Gold was so expensive. So I just traded the whole flute in. I sold it and got another flute. But you want to look at chimney height. You want to look at the diameter of the, of the blowhole. You want to look at the undercutting. You want to look at the opposite placing here, of how that is. And then lastly, the true test is you play in. And uh, you, you, you want to you play with it, you want to see how the octaves, how full, and can you get quick response. You should be able to get instant response out of the low note. If you don't, there's something wrong with the head joint. You know, it's, it's not right. Uh, the same with the third and the third and fourth octave, you should be able to get instant response. So I think you'll find that if you try some of these suggestions, I think you'll find that one of these may work. I won't go into brands because there is a, there's a migrant of brands out there. I would suggest you look at some major music stores and see what they have. There are several music stores online like Flute World, Cincinnati Flute Works, Flute Specialist. They all, there's tons of them out there and they all have tons of head joints. If you're not able to drive to the town, if you got a credit card number, they'll probably ship them to you and let you try them. And then the bottom line will be how it works for you. But I think if you try these tips, I think you'll find they might just work very well for you. This is Dr. David Klee. Thank you.